So I haven't done my body uh, circumference measurements. 190 pounds. So uh, that scale that they used at the uh, university was like the legit scale. It said 189. So it's, it's pretty accurate, 189, 190. So we got the body fat percentage. We have our weight loss goal. We have our timeline goal. Uh, so now we need to do circumference measurements because it's not only just important to weigh yourself every week, but to do circumference measurements weekly. Uh, try to do it at the same time of the day, uh, the same day of the week. Make sure you're not full of water and food so that it's pretty accurate so you're not bloated. Uh, don't do it after a workout when you're all pumped up. So right now it's 4.30 in the morning. Uh, it's Wednesday the 8th. So we're gonna see, I'm 190 pounds. Uh, I'm gonna do all these measurements consistently each week. So. I always go across the belly button, directly across. Almost 31 and three quarters. Okay, so we'll go with 32 inches across the belly button. Like that measurement because I carry the most fat just like right around here. So uh, the next measurement I do is directly under my belly button, basically like this six pack like pouch area. B3. So just uh, like a quarter inch down, right? A little bit down, it's a whole inch bigger. So that's 33 inches. And that's one due to obliques, obviously. My hips are down here, so it's a little bit wider. But I would like to see this flatten out a little bit. So uh, the next measurement I'll do is chest. Fun fact, when I did Strongman, it was 54 inches. I usually go right across the nipples. Why are you looking at my nipples? 44 inches. Try not to flare your lats when you do it because if you flare your lats, then obviously it's gonna be a lot wider. So I just do relaxed arms by my side. What does that say? 16 and a half? 16 and a half, wow, that's actually really small. I think of my neck, it's only been like 17 the leanest, okay? Uh, arms, they're so little, 16s. It's almost like 15 and three quarters. Oh, 15 and three quarters. Fun fact, when I was strong man, they were 19 inches, wow. So sad, okay, hips, AKA your butt. Oh man, this is shriveled up too. 37 and a half. Fun fact, when I was strong man, Used to be 48. Oh. Odds, seven inches up from the center of my kneecap. That way I measure around the same area every single time. Oh no, they're shrunk. 22 and a quarter. Wow. Those measurements are way off compared to like when I was doing strongman, like huge difference. But I do those weekly. I want you guys to do these three things. Not only weigh yourself in every week, I want you to do circumference measurements a week and taking photos a week. So in your bathroom or where you have the best lighting and the same lighting every single time, a front facing photo, side facing, rear facing. Uh, and this is why, because the scale sometimes can be the enemy. Uh, you might not see progress, you get discouraged and then you fall off the wagon. Circumference measurements are good because the scale might not move, but the circumference measurements will. So if you have a lot of weight around like your hips or your thighs, you'll see that taper off. If you have a lot of weight around your stomach, you'll see that taper off, but the scale won't move. And that's also just a sign that you're building muscle at the same time as losing body fat. So weigh in all, all at the same time, preferably in the morning after you use the bathroom, but be consistent with when you weigh in because you don't want your last meal at like midnight and then weighing in at 6 a.m. because there's gonna be a lot of food in your belly, you're gonna be extra bloated. So there are factors that are gonna play a role if the scale is like up and down. The last time you ate your meal, what the meal was, so if it was a lot of carbs, a lot of sodium, a lot of salt, you'll be extra bloated in the morning. So uh, I had my last meal last night at 6 p.m., weighed in at 4.30, so that's almost 10 hours. So. That's more than 10 hours. That's 10 and a half hours. Um, so there's, I'm pretty depleted right now. So 190, I did my measurements. I'll do that every single week. Uh, and then I will start to do a photo front, side, and back 
and you won't really see results like the first one to two weeks or the one to three, but like week one to week four, you will start to see your body just like morph into something different. And that's the coolest part. So uh, don't get discouraged if you're just doing like daily weigh-ins, just do it once a week. If it's not that different, don't worry about it too much. Circumference measurements, weigh-ins, and photos. Those are my three little tips. Won't change a thing now, there was never trust Don't you say a word, cause I've heard it all You were just pain when you felt it all oh. Something tells me that I won't miss it It's the first time that we can't fix it It's irreversible damage Oh, okay, post-workout thoughts. That was nasty. Oh, we just got this um, sandbag. It's like a replacement of a D-ball. D-balls are really expensive for the gym. If we want a, a D-ball that was 150 pounds, it would cost $400 just to get it shipped here. So uh, the sandbag is like maybe 100 bucks on Rogue, and then you just get play sand or con contractor sand and fill the bag up, so it's 150 pounds. So uh, the workout was 10 minutes, right? You had 10 minutes to complete the following work. 30 calories on the air bike, okay? Uh, if you don't have an air bike, then use a rower and maybe do like 40 calories, something like that. But the bike is better because you pre-fatigue your hips and your quads for the box jumps. 30 box jump, or sorry, 20 burpee box jump overs at 30 inches, which the first round I tripped over the box because my hips we're so heavy, my legs are so heavy, especially from doing back squats yesterday. But tw uh, 30 on the bike, 20 burpee box jump overs, and then 10 med ball cleans over your shoulder. Oh my God. Not only are you gassed from the bike and the burpees, but then the med ball is so awkward to pick up. You're rounded, so you're squishing your lungs, and then you extend, and you have 150 pounds crushing on your stomach. It's a gasser, let me tell you. But you have 10 minutes to do the work, Whatever remaining time is on the clock, you get to rest. And then you do it three times. Chris sent me this. It's awful. I had basically three minutes and 25 seconds each round. The last round, I really wanted to milk it and let it go for uh, the whole 10 minutes, but 325 was my average for all three rounds. Give it a shot. <sighs> time for post-workout recovery. Hello. Are you Australian? your female perspective of if it's your macro so far. Not bad, feeling pretty good about it, feeling strong, feeling. I feel like I don't crave things very much. Oh yeah? Like when I was on the cut in RP, I was craving a lot of stuff. Yeah, I saw you ate some Sieta chips. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. But they fit my macros. <laughs> Unbelievable, you think I don't see this hidden snack pocket over here? Yeah, it says the guy who made this kettle corn popcorn and Chips. Grain free tortilla chips. Please. You didn't put that on your video now, did you? <laughs>
So, eight grams of fat per nine chips, 18 carbs, one protein. Wow, did you weigh those out? I had two. Eh, eh, eh. This was bomb. I don't know who makes this. Someone. Stews. Nope. Somebody makes this. Who makes this? AF, AF popcorn. This was like crap. It was delicious. Don't worry about that. Today we're gonna show the people you getting jacked. A little deadlift work. I knew I was gonna do deadlifts today. Deadlifts, yay, yay. 700 pounds, here we go. Just in time, babe. I made a really, really respectable meal. How was the rest of your workout? I have a headache now. Feel like poopy, poopy kaga? Yeah. I'll make you a nice meal. Look at this well-balanced meal. We got some nice finger potatoes, a little squash, London broil, and a fresh tomato salad. That those tomatoes are from Jeff. Oh, nice. Try this green one. He said that one, those are called black cherries. He said those are like the best ones. Wow. Good. I want those. Delicious. Hey, don't touch mine. So yesterday we talked about balance, right? Wow, those are really good. <laughs> yesterday we talked about balance and how if it fits your macros isn't fitting every single macro you could possibly find with being fat, basically. Want a Zevia? So, it's about balance and having 90% of the time healthiness, and then you can fit something in like a cookie. Want a cookie for your dessert? Cookie. This is a perfect example of a fidget macros. 90% of this meal, right? Look at this, clean. Bean cuts of beef, we got vegetables, we got, we got squash, we got tomatoes, we got russet potatoes, calorie-free zevia, and a cookie. Now, a very small cookie, but the calories are 180 calories, uh, seven grams of fat, 29 carbs, and two grams of protein. So, it's not that awful. But let me give you a test here. These are, what cookies are these called? Cheryl's? Where is this place? I don't know. Cheryl's cookie. This is a buttercream frosted mocha latte cookie. You're eating it before you eat dinner? Yeah. Why? I'm stacking my tomatoes! Sorry, they're really good. Wow. That's a good cookie. That's a good cookie. Mm -mm -mm. If it fits your macros. Mm -mm -mm. Dun, 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 dun. See you in the morning. We're going to work out.
Boom, post workout thoughts. That is a highly, highly advanced workout. My back, my back hurts. So that was four time, another speed workout, just like the um, sandbag workout. Three rounds though. So starts with a 500 pound yoke carry, 50 feet. There's a, a 25 foot uh, like break portion. So it's like 25 feet, 25 feet. So in case you break down in the middle, you don't have to start from the beginning. So 50 feet, then you handstand walk 50 feet back. Pick up the farmer's carries, which is 205 pounds per hand. You walk it all the way 50 feet. Then you handstand walk back, pick up the 150 pound sandbag, bring it 50 feet, handstand walk back, and then repeat three times. Mid line, mid line, your, your back, your core, your spinal cord. My back is so pumped up and I was having core cramps the whole time because it's so much stress on your, on just like your whole body and your nervous system. And then flipping upside down, trying to walk on your hands. Oh my God, that was the hardest. That was probably like one of the more like strenuous strongman things I've done. If you have the equipment, give it a shot. You could try it lighter. It's kind of a play on the strongman medley. Um, strongman midline medley they did at the 2017 games. Man, it was tough. Give that a try. I'm gonna go foam roll my back. Maybe find some icy hot. Maybe just crawl into a ball and cry because that was tough. Consistency of a Wendy's Frosty and it tastes so good. So a scoop of protein powder, a cup of 1% um, milk or 2% milk, I think. Um, a tablespoon of almond butter, two servings of PB2, an entire banana and probably like 16 ounces of ice cubes. Blend that baby up, it's so good. I'm trying to eat more um, often in the morning and less at night because Usually, I've been drinking this huge shake, which this is, this is uh, 32 ounces to 40 ounces, uh, and then dinner at night, and I go to bed so full, I'm trying to eat more in the morning, uh, so I have to play around with that, but really delicious shake, try it out. That strongman workout kicked my butt. My nervous system is gonna be shot tomorrow. Uh, after that, I did the class workout, which was squat clean and jerk heavy. I worked up to 285. I failed 300, I squat cleaned it, but I haven't pressed it. I haven't jerked in a really, really long time, but I gotta work on that. Um, then it was four time, so as fast as you can go. 15 clean and jerks at 115 pounds for the men, 95 pounds for the ladies. If you scale it back even more, it's 95 pounds for the men, 70 pounds for the ladies. Uh, so you do 15 clean and jerks, 10 bar facing burpees, 25 strict pull-ups, 10 bar facing burpees, 15 clean jerks. I did it in five 
minutes and 50 seconds, something like that. Uh, really good burner. I am so hungry right now. I need to drink this, fuel up. But that's it for today's video. Tomorrow is the AMDAP. As many donuts as possible, the last cheat day. But please give me some feedback in the comment section below. One, do you guys like the fitness stuff? And two, do you want me to not speed up as much of the fitness stuff? So do you want me to show you more in-depth parts of the workout, a little more pain face situation, uh, a little more kind of like workout breakdown? Comment down below. Uh, also, I know the audio has been like lowered in some videos. I need to fix it. It's a Rode Video Mic Pro. It's like a $200 microphone. I don't know what's happening, but comment down below if the audio is good, if the entertainment's good, if the workouts are good. Always leave me something because it's really appreciated and I will apply it to the future videos. But that's it. Comment, like, subscribe. Enjoy this last donut video because it's gonna be respectable.